Hey, how you doing? It's Blake here with some eBay news. If you've been following along with my channel, you saw a video about Chris Lynn, aka Daily Refinement, and his eBay stores, two of them being banned, suspended, killed, whatever you want to call it, resulting in a loss of multi-million dollar revenue. Well, some more things have come to light, not about that, mind you, other stuff that's been happening for about two years now that's even crazier than that. Uh, we're going to talk about it, but first we'll do a roundup of some more mundane news like yesterday. Uh, if you are an eBay seller, certainly you noticed that the uh, the login, the sign-in was down for about three or four hours yesterday. I know it kind of disrupted my business. That was kind of annoying. Uh, nowhere near the level of what happened to Daily Refinement, you know, just to call back to that, uh, but also not nearly as bad as what happened to the uh, the couple behind the e-commerce website and newsletter, e-commerce bytes. Here it is, e-commerce bytes giving sellers a voice since 1999, and uh, that's certainly how it looks. No offense, I love this website. I go to it all the time. Lots of great news. Basically, it's just kind of a, a niche newsletter and blog and just content website that gears towards e-commerce sellers. Nothing that crazy. It is generally critical of uh, the mistakes and mishaps that these large platforms make, but nothing, nothing too crazy. And then we start to scroll down and we see this right here. Sixth eBay executive pleads guilty to roll in cyber stalking campaign. Yikes. Let's click on that. Uh, apparently, and if you have been following along, you know this, but for everyone else, this is, just, you're going to, you're not going to believe it's real. So the couple who owns this site and runs it, or at least runs part of it, they live in Natick, Massachusetts. Uh, and here we go. A former eBay Inc. executive pleaded guilty today in connection with his role in a cyber stalking campaign targeting the editor and publisher of a newsletter that eBay executives viewed as critical of the company. And you're thinking, okay, well, are they a bit biased because the, publication is the one that was stalked. No, this is a press release from the U.S. Attorney's Office uh, for the District of Massachusetts on Monday, April 25th. You can see right there. So th this is not uh, opinionated or editorialized. This is straight from the uh, Attorney General. The guy in question is James Bow or Baugh, 47 of San Jose, eBay's former Senior Director of Safety and Security, pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit stalking through interstate travel and through facilities of interstate commerce, two counts of stalking through interstate travel, two counts of stalking through facilities of interstate commerce, two counts of witness tampering, and two counts of destruction, alteration, and falsification of records in a federal investigation. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know the details of all this, but anyone with a brain can go, oh, geez, that's not good. How did eBay hire so many people who are deranged? <laughs> that's my first thought, is with all these pushes to be a better workplace and to be more uh, thoughtful about who you're employing and who you're targeting to. How do you hire these people? James Baugh, Philip Koch or Cook, Brian Gilbert, Stephanie Pop, Veronica Zia or Z, and Stephanie Stockwell, who all previously pleaded guilty. 18 months in prison, and the rest are awaiting sentencing. Harville, though, I guess. So we'll give Harville, who is that? We'll give you the benefit of the doubt. David Harville, right there. Uh, not Pleaded not guilty. But everyone else is like, yeah, we we sent you guys stuff to make it think like we were going to kill you. Uh, you. You can see down here, they sent them a bloody pig mask, a fetal pig, a funeral wreath. Live insects. The harassment also featured Craigslist posts inviting the public for sexual encounters at the victim's homes. I also saw that they sent them a book about how to deal with the loss of a spouse. I mean, that's how, how much more uh, close to a direct death threat can you get? I don't know. I'm, I'm genuinely... Genuinely asking. On August 15th, 2019, Baugh and co-conspirators allegedly traveled from California to Natick 
to surveil the victims and to install a GPS tracking device in the victim's car. Here's what I want to know, okay? Think about this. All of the time it takes six people to coordinate and plan interstate stalking, driving across the country, planning a GPS, and then brainstorming all of the terrible things you could do to someone. Why is eBay, I mean, they're fired now, so I'm not blaming eBay currently, but at that time, why weren't they just like, James, Jimmy, Love your enthusiasm about the whole interstate stalking and harassment and pig fetuses plan, but the board thinks maybe it's not in our best interest to have six or seven people roaming the country committing felonies against those who criticize us. So, as an alternative, what if we listen to their criticisms and use the time that you'd be using to ruin their lives and make them live in constant fear of death, uh, we use that time to make it a better platform. So the criticisms go away that way, and not because our detractors are fearing for their life. Why weren't they like, hey, instead of harassing these people and making them think we're going to kill them, let's just fix the problems they have. I don't know what the original article is. I assume it's a series of articles. You know, like I said, e-commerce bites is not exactly friendly uh, when these platforms screw over sellers. So maybe they're just trying to get them, you know, maybe they think that, oh, if we get rid of this one person who's talking bad about us, then nobody will think to complain, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, but again, beyond that, why don't you just put your effort into fixing the problems and listening to these critical assessments as opposed to shutting them down and trying just to steamroll over them, uh, you know, pave it over with bloody pig masks. Ugh, gross. Pig fetuses. The details contained are allegations. The remaining defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in the court of law. Yada, yada, yada. You know the spiel how it goes, but I mean, come on. I think we all know that something wasn't right. I don't know. Uh, just some interesting, offbeat, kind of sad, like almost tragic <laughs> eBay news. Thought you would like to know about it. If you like this stuff, subscribe. We're doing more e-commerce related news stuff. Personally, I love it. I like the website. Uh, and I want to keep you informed about the crazy things happening in the world of e-commerce and resale. Oh, and eBay, if you see this, make sure the severed head gets sent to the back door. We're having a problem with stolen packages.